Okay, so I'm going to show you guys how to install GIMP v3 from the beginning. Uh, when you get to download from the website, you'll have a zip file. You're going to right click on it and you're going to hit extract to v3 and this will make a new folder. And here it is. So here's the v3 plugin here, which is going to go into the plugins folder within GIMP. So I'm going to go ahead and open GIMP right now. Okay, as you guys can see, there's no GIMP v3 plugin installed. I went ahead and uh, uninstalled it for this video. We are going to go to the edit menu and come on down to the preferences. And now we will go to folders and we'll push the little plus button next to it here. And we're going to navigate to plugins, which is right here. And you're going to have two folders here. Um, just about everybody selects the top folder here. This will put it in the correct directory. And now we're going to click on the little file cabinet drawer right here. And it will automatically highlight your plugins folder within your GIMP directory here. So go ahead and open that up. And here are the current plugins that are in there. I'm going to go ahead and uh, minimize GIMP here. And here is our V3 folder right here that we extracted from the zip file. And we are simply going to drag this over and drop it in the GIMP plugins folder here. Now V3 is in there. So we will go back to GIMP. Just press OK and then we're going to close GIMP. And then restart it. And here is the GIMP plugin right here. To use it, we are going to open a photo here. And all we have to do is click on the GIMP plugin. Now if this is grayed out guys, if this is grayed out and it won't let you select it, you can either come over here, right click it and select remove alpha channel and flatten the image. And then you're going to want to make sure the image mode is RGB, which it is. If not, make sure it's RGB. But the simple quick way is to go to file export as and then export it as a jpeg and then reopen your newly saved file and the, the plugin will be active for you guys uh, i'm going to go ahead and open it up here don't mind this screen in the background just let it be or minimize it if it bothers you and you can select tile or wood i use 600 dpi for both so I mean, you can obviously use different resolutions if you'd like. Some people use 1200, some people use 800, some people use 300, 254, and whatnot. But I typically run everything at 600 DPI. And then you'll set your size in millimeters. Let's say I put uh, 200 millimeters here, okay? I don't necessarily have to change this but I'll put it at 200 also. So if you want your photo 200 wide, then it will scale up proportionally the height. So you don't really have to uh, worry about setting both exact. So I just usually set them the same. Let's say I want it eight inches tall, then I'll just put in the correct, um, what am I trying to say here? The correct size for for the height and then i'll match the height with the width so for instance if i want this one 100 millimeters wide i'll also put 100 here and it will keep it proportionate and then once you do that i'll go ahead and move this out of the way here you're going to go ahead and just press ok and it will process it for you
and there you go it's it's done already and now you're gonna simply export as and you can name it whatever you like we'll just do test here and it's a JPEG you can also go to select by file type and you can export it as a, a bitmap or whatever you'd like I just choose JPEG that's what I use for GIMP and then it will automatically put the extension on there for you guys and then you simply just press export here and after you press export a new window will pop up here and the first time running GIMP here this will be the quality will be set to 90 for you guys um, that's just standard in GIMP for some reason so I just make that 100 so it, the quality is 100 and then I press save save defaults and then every time it will be 100 afterwards and I just press export and you're all done and then move it on over to uh, Lightburn or RDWorks or whatever you're using and uh, send it off to your laser.